Bristol. Today we are at the Humboldt Museum. We're looking at our mammoth that was found in the Black Rock Desert. Um, so these bones are estimated to, about, to be about 13,000 years old. So in 1979, a man named Steve Wollman found the first tooth. And then in 1980, um, William Clelo actually found some more and they started es excavating some more bones. So the Columbian mammoth used to be really big. Um, we can compare it to a modern day Asian elephant. So they were pretty big. They measured to be about 13 feet tall and then 13 tons. So they're pretty heavy. Um, so females and males both had tusks. Um, and then the tusks were really useful, especially in if the mammoths lived in places like in snowy places, they could move uh, the snow with their tusks. So Columbian mammoths were the biggest mammoths in Northern America, but they were commonly found in the southern part of North America. Um, they could be found in places where there were trees, cacti leaves, and shrubs, and they'd mainly graze, and they'd eat up to 300 pounds of food per day. Um, back then there used to be a lot of water in the desert too, so they could drink up to 26 gallons um, at a time, and they'd drink at least three times per day. Um, so we, can, we know this uh, we know what they ate based on looking at their um, teeth and also by looking at their scat. So it's thought that the Colombian mammoth um, were killed by hunters or they died due to the climate change so at the last uh, around the time of the last glacial retreat. So the way that the bones are set up right now are the way the bones were found um, when it was going to be ex excavated. Um, so the bones of the mammoth were also found with different kinds of species. Um, so things like saber-toothed tiger, horses, um, camels, there's tortoises, and also short-faced short bears. So this is how they were found and how they were excavated. So. All right, hope you enjoyed this video about learning about mammoths. Stay tuned for a mammoth craft and some close-up pictures of the mammoth remains. is we're going to make the mammoth head. So by doing that, we're going to do like little squiggly lines and make it into a circle kind of at the edge of the paper. So you should end up with something like this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. So we have the mammoth's head. Next, we're going to take the white piece of paper and make the little tusks, okay? So you can go at the edge of the paper. 
You just go around. So I made kind of like a J, and then I'm going to make it kind of connect. So that way we have what looks like a little tusk. Okay, and I'm going to make two of these. Okay, so for the other one, I just made a backwards J. Okay, so you should have two of those, so now we're just going to cut them out. Once we have those cut out, we're just going to go ahead and glue those on. Okay, so we're going to glue them on the bottom. So you can put them closer or farther apart. Okay. Next, we're going to take our googly eyes and put those on. Okay. Next, we are going to take our pencil and our pipe cleaner. So on the mammoths, so right above the, t the tusks, we're going to put two little circles, okay? And then you're going to take your pencil and you're just going to carefully poke a hole on top of each little circle that we made. Okay, and then just make the circle a little bit wide. Okay, and then... We are going to take the pipe cleaner and we're going to thread it through. And then pull that through. Okay. And then you're going to put it on whichever finger you would like. And then we're going to just twist the rest of the pipe cleaner. And there you go. And then you can also make this a little bit bigger and maybe make it as a bracelet so that way your, your whole arm can act as the trunk. Alright, and there is your mammoth craft.